Hello everyone and welcome back to Craft Storyo 2. This is Otaku Showboat. If you've been enjoying this series thus far, please be sure to do all of the social and engagement stuff below the video. Consider hitting that great big blue join button to become an erudite otaku as well as providing support through Patreon at patreon.com slash otaku showboat if you are so inclined and able and I am streaming on YouTube lately so you can hang out come over whenever you get the notification and subscribe get notified when I go live etc etc last time we met we were scaling and got through a, a few additional atmospheric extractors for uh, for nitrogen and hydrogen to make a, a bit more nitric acid just 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 a, a, a little bit more nitric acid uh, is absolutely required so yeah we went through the effort and we got additional production on the rare metals we got produ additional production on the nitric acid with those rare metals all because we are in the process of getting into additional immersite crystals oh, that is the plan that is the plan, and uh, it's, it's suggested, yes, you can do stuff, shenanigans out of matter to do things. I'm not gonna, the, the only thing I'm gonna bother with the matter conversion is going to be the, uh, the, this, this, this. That's the only, that's the only thing I'm gonna do with the, with the matter conversion. That's what we are going to go do right now now yes that is the idea right now we are going to go over and take care of these things i am going to need some matter plants and matter assemblers so we need to convert the ore into matter I hear a kitten. Oh, it's an Ollie, and Ollie has joined me. So, we have to convert the immersite ore into matter, and then the matter into powdered immersite. Matter is a fluid, though. And if I'm just going to make it into powder, I mean, I need to provide powder on my train network anyway. Like, I, I need to have the powder, like, regardless. So, while, yeah, it would be better to just move matter around on the train network, if I resort to doing that here, then why not just do an entire base doing stuff with matter? Like, that... If, if I start putting matter on the train station... Why would I not just have a facility making matter and then converting the matter to what I need at the destination? Just across the board, everywhere. I don't want to do that. I don't want to rely on matter for the long term. What I would much prefer is in this very specific circumstance where the ratio of immersite ore into the powder is so much better through the going into matter, we're going to use this here, and that's it. And that's it. And we're not going to be tempted to use the matter from the immersite ore for other purposes. No temptations! will be had on this day. None. Zero temptations. Um. Did I finally get my bot back? No, I, I've still... I'm still down one construction bot somehow. It's lost to the ether somewhere. Some, somewhere over the rainbow. Okay. I have... Singularity Bacon. I have only a specific amount total right now because I'm waiting on more to exist. But I am absolutely able to increase the amount of stuff coming out of this. We have 90 
3.07. That is now more than a purple belt of stuff coming out of here. And apparently it's still not at the tick rate yet. What? It's still not at the tick rate yet. What is the base mining speed? It must be uh, 200% because it's at 109.5. If I go and I add this, are we at the cap yet? Are we at the... Now we are over the cap. All recipes executed only once per tick. It says 103.57. That might be the absolute max. No, it says 106.2. All recipes only once per tick. The extra amount is the productivity, I think. Maybe. I don't know if it is actually able to calculate the productivity faster. That is different. The motion of the productivity ticks there are different. Now, that is a behavior I did not know exists, so even though the game can only process a recipe at one per frame, if you have faster than that, it will still do the productivity proc up until the productivity is one per frame. Meaning that it you still do get some minor gain out of increasing speed beyond the tick rate just out of the productivity. Of course, it's still better to be faster. Faster is, of course, always going to be better. Now, there is absolutely no point to going faster than uh, 90 per second. I would like to be at 90 per second here. Thereabouts. Uh, can I get rid of that one and still be it? No, I cannot. All right. 90.95, so that we're not, like, causing major, 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 major issues. Or I could just use another doohickey. I, I could use more loaders, slash unloaders, for this, but, yeah. Anywho, so there's... There's our purple belt. Now I need my matter plant to make... Matter. Oh. Oh. It makes 3.3. Uh, raw immersite into matter at a 1 to 1 ratio. We've got 90. This does not take productivity, so efficiency it is. Uh, across the board with modules. Uh, I mean beacons. Of, of course, like, you... You do, you do know that we are, a uh, beacon, we're in beacon mode, right? <laughs> like, why, why would I not use beacons? We're using, we're using all the bacon on the planet. Crispy, juicy bacon. Uh, da. Uh, excuse me, there, 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 there. I am assuming that, uh, yeah, this is... Right at 90, into 90, wow, that is perfect. I don't even need to have uh, singularity beacons here to get the amount of output that I want from this. Yay! Huzzah! Zum. Give me a storage. Huge, huge storage must be huge. The hugest of huge. Uh, maybe not there. There you go. Enjoy! Enjoy the matter. Look how easy it is to get 90 matter per second. Pfft. That, that's so much power that that could operate, but it's not perpetual. Uh, 
because uh, note we're at 998 million units left here. This can be done up here. And apparently right here, because I also have an Emersite node right there, too. So there's two... Why did I put two M's? It's... It's... It's one M. Is it? Is it one M? Emersite, yes. One M. Are there any others that have been revealed on the map that I am not noticing? Oh, there's more mineral water. All the way up there. Lots of crude oil. Otherwise, no, that is, that is that. There is no other one that is uh, around. So one there, one there. So if I really want more than the amount of immersite powder I could end up with out of this, uh, I will need additional stuff. Now the assembler is the exact same size uh, and it will be used to make the glorious stuff. Uh, unfortunately I don't know if I can actually end up getting the 90 out of this. The 90 of my heart's desire. We'll try. This is where we will use... Oh. You know, that is... Actually 90.15. Uh, efficiently, please. Ha! Ha 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 So... Someone was mentioning that I shouldn't be worrying about power at all because I have such a big buffer. This is... this. This is why we worry about power. 494 megawatts of power out of this one building, only processing one-third of the amount that I can process here. And then this other one is 247 megawatts. Yeah, it's... A it's a bit. It, this is a lot of power to do this. There's a there's an Ollie messing around, mucking about. I could beacon this with singularity beacons, but I don't think I that there is much of a point. And the reason I say that is I'm gonna be doing something like this with a pipe. There's going to be a pump to output here. Uh, the reason I say this is because I don't really have the Singularity Beacons at the moment to make it much, much better. And in fact, if I did use Singularity Beacons here, it would be for efficiency beaconing uh, to reduce this C457 uh, by this one beacon versus 494. That is a lot of efficiency efficiency savings to the point where I would like to have these placed here like this and it all it does is help it it just helps a lot 421 we can get it under 400 by doing that 348 yeah, it's massive savings. It's saving more than the 750 kilowatts on each Singularity Beacon. That's that's when you should be doing uh, efficiency modules in your beacons, is if the savings is greater than the consumption of that beacon. So, and that is obviously the case here. We're down to 348 megawatts plus the 1.61 on this building just with that alone. I can keep adding Singularity Beacons to make this more and more and more efficient, but again, I don't even have enough of them for this second one, let alone the third one that I need. I'd rather it need the beacons for the efficiency, though, so that I can just keep going down this line here like so. 
And there you have it. I have three purple belts of Emersite powder now. Effectively. And this... All of... All of this... All of this can get deleted now. Just rem remove the everything. Like there's no, there's no excess outputs anywhere. It's just go bring this stuff back because I no longer can have the need to process the sand and void the sand and all that good stuff. I did, a I did end up with quite a bit of landfill though, which is great. Not like I really need the landfill, but there you go. And now all of those entities have been reduced down to this. So that entire area is now reduced to this right here. I'd call that a major, major success. However... Three does not divide into two evenly. In case you weren't particularly aware of that. So, in order to do that division between the belts, uh, I'm going to use a warehouse. There you go. Uh, I'm doing that just to make the spacing a little bit easier. There you go. And uh, let's add a train. Supply, depot, full cargo, circuit condition. And let's add another train uh, so that there are three. Do your thing. Wow, that actually holds 400 per stack. That's a lot. That is genuinely a lot. Mythical Allet. This can get rid of its limits. And there's th all of the Immersite powder ever. 90 at a cost of... We're now 4 gigawatts. Remember how just recently we were like at 2.8 after being at like 2.1? We're at 4 now. That's an antimatter reactor. That's an entire antimatter reactor. Just so we're clear on that. This is this is why I worry because it's like uh, we're getting into stuff that uses a lot of power and we're getting into massive scaling of builds at this point. Speaking of massive scaling of builds at this point, uh I want to delete all of this here because it's not efficient anymore. It's just, I mean, it's efficient, it's just, it's missing a productivity module and all of that. 
nonsense. So that's a reason that I will stick with. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. However, uh, the stuff here. All needs to get upgraded for one. And then this output is still outputting. This would be a spot I would love, love to use my Singularity Beacons. Unfortunately, because this uses fluids, it's a little difficult to do that. But, uh... Wow, that is actually really, really low on the throughput. Holy god, why? So, I have 180. <laughs> Scratch that. I have 270 powder to work with. Um, yeah. Because no, I, I have 3 times 90. 270. I have a little bit of powder. Uh, how much do I need of the Immersite crystals? I was very specific in how I worded that. V very specific. I need 40 Five is what I was going for? What? Well, alrighty then. So, I need 15 of this. At, and I have enough powder. I should have enough nitric and sulf... I'm worried about the sulfuric, but I should have enough. So that's 15. That's this. 15 of this. Uh, let's delete all that. I don't... I don't need all that listed there. All right. Uh, do I have enough stuff for all that? Who knows? Who knows? I don't know. I know I'm going to sneeze. I muted in time. Huzzah. Huzzy hazoo. So, how many in a line... to six works out uh, how much space do I have though for four well that's answers that question now doesn't it I'm going to grab that, do that, that. Oh, I have, there's space for five. Exactly space for five. Well, that actually makes things a heck of a lot easier, to be completely honest. That makes it so much easier for me. Okay. Now to get the outputs combined, I'm probably going to do this a little bit differently than what I'm doing right now. So right now, this line just goes all the way out. So what I want is that... And I need stuff from above. And... Yeah, so it's... It's this. That, that, that. And there you go. Now it's all going in. I no longer need this set up. So, congratulations, I already have 
far more crystals getting made. But this is only the beginning. This is only step one. Because I have a step two and a step three to deal with. Uh, and do I even have enough stuff? No, I don't even have enough regular beacons for this. I ha I have mentioned that this is a this is a bit of a build, right? That we are we are we are not playing anymore with our with our scaling. We are very serious. We're super serious. Super SRS serious. Bring me things. All of my things that I am requesting and get rid of all this stuff that is now completely irrelevant. Must be rid myself of all of the irrelevant items. Okay, I think we are okay now. And yes, it has been pointed out, the each superior underground belt is 40 transport belts. I, I get it. I understand it's not a strict resource savings, but resource density. I have 85 underground belts, which are the equivalent of 85 times 40 of the regular belts. If you do that math, that's worth 3,400 regular transport belts. I, I at max, carry around 1,000 of those regular belts. So when I say that I prefer using the underground belts is because they're far more resource-dense in my inventory than anything else than the regular belts are. I can cover much greater distances with fewer resources. There's stuff that was requested here? Oh. Right, I've... I need... I needed more bacon! That's right, I needed more bacon for all of... This! <laughs> well, that's just wonderful. We, we got 18 more bacon down there. But what I really need is genuine, regular bacon. Not our thick-sliced bacon of the singularities. We, we need... We just need standard bacon for all of these. And we need to hook them up get an adjustment made um it's not gonna be particularly possible uh, I want you there? Do I? Do I really? No, I don't. This is going to be slightly painful to do this logistics. So... Here... I need, like, this spacing. Can I get this spacing? That's what I, like, need. That works. And that works. Wow. Alright. Sure thing, boss. That's gonna be that. But that doesn't work here. Because this is in the way. Um, and it's the 
third tile. I don't that I don't have that spacing even if I bring this down. I don't I don't have it here. I have it it's one tile higher. And that royally messes everything up. Unless we do just that and move everything one tile up, then it's actually a little bit simpler. Because then it's just this. And I don't even need to worry about that spacing. It can be all the way over there. Ah, logistics. Don't you love logistics? I love logistics. So, move that two tiles down. Move, break that, and move that two tiles down. And break that, and move this two tiles down. And move that two tiles down. And then what we end up with is this, 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 this. There we go. Of course, I'm off by... Uh, tile. Well. Uh, yeah. Not worth. Not worth. Not worth. I'd argue that the whole thing not worth using those undergrounds between each thing. There you go. Enjoy the extra crystals. If these things operated. That's part one, and then part two is actually feeding these things. With enough, uh, so it's... If it's five each, I think I'm just going to give them each a purple line. I mean, we have 15 here. That's 201. That's more than two. More than two. So... The, there's an easy input there to shove in. That's part one. Part two will be... Down here, I guess. Is that even gonna work? I don't... I don't know. We shall see. Let's see if everything goes green. If the throughput works out. I may need to hook this up on a different spot. Um.
that, I think, will do it. You, though. How much stuff? So, what's going on right here? You are full. You are getting an amount brought in. And these aren't getting enough. Just use an output priority and see what happens here. Because this is, obviously, this is getting enough. Because it's basically got its own dedicated line. Uh, along with this guy. So it's feeding six. Yeah, six is fine. Off of that. And there's two feeding these. There's all my green lights. That's what I was looking for. Hello, Ollie. You gonna come up? You gonna come up? You gonna come up on the back of the chair? For the- just in time for the end of the video? That's my Ollie. There's my Ollie. Please don't destroy my green screen. He's hooked. You're destroying my green screen. You are poking holes, Mr. Mr. Cat. Mr. Ollie! My kitten! Why do you like just hanging? Get off. There you go. <laughs> there he goes. Alrighty then. You. Wow. That. That feels quick. That feels super quick. Partly because Immersite said 200 stack. Uh, I'm making... There's 15, right? So... 47.04 out of 15? Like this? Yeah, that is... That is a lot. Uh, one... Uh, so 200 times 40 times 2... Divided by 47 is five minutes, five point some odd minutes. That's a bit much. Yeah, I'm okay with each train being a single line like this. That is, that is just fine by me. Whoops. Please take all of that back. You, you get to be a single line as well. Get rid of that, and go. Ta-da! We now have a lot more Immersite crystals. Oh boy. That's, that's done. That, that is done now. We are, we are finished, and we are now at 4.3, 4.2... It was up 4.5 gigawatts of power. It's creeping up on us rather quickly because, well, these three matter assemblers are 1.2 gigawatts all by themselves for these three. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's a few entities. Anyway, with that, folks, I would like to thank you all for watching. This has been Otaku Shibut. If you have enjoyed today's video and the series thus far, please be sure to do all of the social and engagement stuff down below. You can, of course, hit that great big blue join button to become an erudite otaku and turn that blue button gray, as well as support on Patreon at patreon.com slash if you are so inclined and able. And I will... Be back next time where I am going to continue the scaling shenanigans. I will see you all then.